you know, we're talking princess. This video is a bit of an RV accessories video, although the items I will show you are not necessarily only for the RV. It's up to you. Story time. I needed to go and get my vent over my bed replaced, or at least worked on because it was it had a little leak from water. So I decided since I had to do that anyways, I installed a fantastic fan which is a bi-directional capability fan to get more airflow right into the bed, which is great. Anyway, to do that, I went to a place called Carl's RV here in Tucson. They are amazing. It's like family owned business, recommended by a friend. I do highly recommend it and I'll put the info down below. It's an unpaid plug for them. Um, and while I was there, I noticed they had a little table over by the checkout. And so I, of course, paid attention to that and I found the cutest little things. So, I had to buy uh, some more RV blankets is what it ends up being, but could be used anywhere. The first one that caught my eye was this adorable, and these are fleece, just a really nice fleece, you know, the classic tie blankets. Um, but look at this pattern. It has, you know, I, I initially thought of it for my aunt who, you know, my uncle's kind of recovering from a stroke, but anyway. She's from Wyoming, and so it just kind of made sense. She used to RV a lot, but it's trailer specific sort of. But the pattern, is great so, and you can see the blanket itself is kind of like a lap blanket size a, you know a couch blanket or a lap blanket it's got the bears and the different trailers I just thought it was so cute the back is a plain sort of gray um, but it's, it's really nice little size so I thought this would be a great campfire blanket or you know just sitting around visiting kind of blanket um, I may keep it or I may send it to my uncle I don't know, he's not really into trailers and stuff. My aunt's more of the outdoorsman. But as I was looking at that, then I saw this cute, um, it's like flannel pillowcase, but look at this fun colors. Um, sort of the coral and teal and whatnot. It's a nice big pillowcase. I thought, well, that would be fun. To just have like a camper specific pillowcase. That makes sense to me. Um, I only bought one because they were kind of expensive, but not grossly, just more than I wanted to spend at the time. But as I was deciding about that, then I saw the blanket that goes with it. <laughs> and look at this pattern. Okay, so it's basically the same on both. But on here, um, this is a much bigger blanket. But look at all these, let me turn it up right. This one is like a Vera throw size blanket, if you will. I didn't measure it, but look at all the fun colors in the trailers. So the thing about it was, the backing that was on all the blankets was this sort of very, very light mint green. First of all, mint green's not my thing. Second of all, we're talking about trailer stuff. So even though I'm pretty neat and tidy and clean, I am going to be outside and trailer stuff gets dirty faster. So I had her look and request if she could do a different backing. So rather than that really light, mint green, which was lovely. I asked if they could do the teal or possibly the blue, but look how great this blue looks with that. I think it came out wonderful. And so I'm really excited. Now, again, if I hold it up, that is, let's see, I'm five, six, so it's about five, three by probably about five, five and a half by five and a half ish. So again, not a true bed blanket, but for me, that is a perfect RV bed blanket and or lounging around and super fun just to color up the, to, I don't have a fancy scheme or anything, but that is it for this one. If you were interested, again, not selling anything, um, I did ask if it was okay to share the info, but the lady's name is Gail and I will put her number down below. If you're interested, she can actually you know, custom make different things or if you have a preference. But anyway, I'll put the info down below what I paid and what her number is. Along with Carl's RV info in case you're in Tucson area and need some work on your RV. They do all sorts of great stuff and really nice people. So there you go. That's it for this one. Take care. Bye for now.